Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be talking about the Tianden TB001 UAV from the People's Republic of China. Please remember to like and subscribe. Let's get into it. Fact 1. Twin Engine Unlike many UAVs out there, this particular drone actually has two propeller engines. That's right, it's pretty incredible that they've strapped down two engines for this drone. Most of the drones worldwide only has one engine. This drone has two turboprop engines spinning three propellers on each side. I think part of the reasons why they strapped down the extra engine is for endurance and failover capabilities. Because most drones really only have one engine and when it fails, it will go down. But with two engines, it could glide way further and try to recover as best as it possibly can and try to reach its friendly areas so that it won't be captured by the enemy. It also, on the other hand, is more costly to maintain. Alright, let's get into the next fact. Fact 2. Twin-tailed scorpion. The TB-001 drone is also known around the world as the Twin Tail Scorpion. The Scorpion name is coming from directly from the Tianden Industries that created this drone. They nicknamed this model Scorpion. The Twin Tail, however, is something unique. Again, this is not seen in any other drones out there in the world today. The TB-001 drone has a Twin Tail design or Twin Boom, as you can see from old days of aviation. The twin boom design is hugely popular in World War II. For example, this drone looks very similar to the Lockheed P-38 Lightning that was used during World War II. Advantages of the twin boom design includes, for example, an unobstructed field of view on the rear. It also gives it a conventional empennage that allows the rear position to be located more forward resolving balance problems. The tip effects on the tailplane are avoided and is supported at both ends, allowing it to be smaller and lighter. Span loading along the wing can reduce the structural forces between the booms and thus overall weight. Alright, let's get into the next fact. Fact 3. 35 hour endurance. Despite Having two engines and thus naturally requiring more fuel to run, the TB001 is surprisingly incredibly efficient. It could fly up to 35 hours in the air before having to return to base for refueling. And as a result, gives it a very good range and loading capabilities. It is no secret that the TB001 was originally identified as a surveillance aircraft for long range surveillance properties. It was used, or designed to be used, to be flying into hostile territory or places far beyond the four operating bases so that they can gather intelligence and enemy movements, resources, and so forth. The long range that it has allows the operator to sit comfortably in the back, in the friendly areas, way deep into controlled territories, and simply fly the drone into dangerous areas to seek out surveillance information. The TB-001 also contains payloads for missiles and rockets, but the primary focus is definitely surveillance. Alright, let's get into the next fact. Fact 4. 2-3 to three tons of takeoff weight. The TB-001, the base version with two engines, has generally a takeoff weight of about 2 tons. You can imagine how many missiles and rockets it could carry, in addition to all the cameras and sensors and radars used to determine enemy locations and enemy movement information. I think it's very incredible that this drone, which is very large to begin with, can carry so much payload. And also, the fact that it has payload capabilities of many missiles and rockets make it a really deadly UAV. In addition, this particular drone has two variants. The TB001 is the base and most default configuration, whereas the TB001A 
is an upgraded version. The upgraded version can carry even more missiles and more rockets. The payload is increased from 2 to up to 3 tons. Some information says 2.8. And the reason it could have increased payload is because the extra engine on the back. They actually utilized the rear to place an additional engine at a pusher configuration so that it could carry so many missiles and rockets. Alright, let's get into the next and final fact. Airliner altitude. Another interesting part about this drone is that it flies generally at an airline altitude. I'm talking about the commercial airliners that you take every day, which is between 30 to 40,000 feet in the air. Compared to other surveillance drones, which could fly as high as 50 or even 60,000 feet, the TB001 can really only fly between 30 to 40,000 feet. Most of the information I found actually has it topped out at 26,000 feet. So you can see that this drone, perhaps because it's so big and has so much payload, doesn't fly very high. And if you don't fly that high, then yes, technically you can cruise at a lower altitude and for longer periods of time. Because if you need to fly higher, you need more powerful engines and more fuel pretty much to defy gravity. And by having the surface ceiling at a low 26,000 or 30,000 feet, the Chinese engineers created this drone so that it could achieve its practical objectives without flying too high into the sky. I think though it could be dangerous because someday commercial airlines may collide with this drone at the same altitude. Alright, that's it for my video today. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. See you next time.